Hey everybody, it's Monday, March 7, 2022. We're going to be doing a card of the day of focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours. It's directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not to push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and connect whatever the fuck you call it. That's none of my fucking business. We are a fucked up, flawed human. We're subject to error. We make mistakes all the time. I have no business judging you just like you have no business judging me or anybody else. With that being said, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with in intuition. Not everyone listens to it as you can see the state of the world i always tell people as well to make sure you maintain your spiritual and energetic practices and rituals pray meditate conversate contemplate follow your intuition integrate that whether it's spirituality energetics or science i believe in both and i'm here to tell you that it's okay to be okay and sometimes it's okay to be not okay but the card of the day is here to remind you and focus that intention whenever you see this it may not be on march 7th that you see this it may be in june it may be in july it may be next year that you see this video but whatever video resonates with you that's when you need to, that's when you need to see it and that's when you need to receive it remember the almighty pineapple llc is trademark copyright and registered with three different classifications with the united states government trademark and patents office any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse it's guided by my legal team thank you for fucking with me if this applies amazing if it doesn't apply then let this shit fly it may not resonate with you i am not for everyone and everyone is not for me as you can see the state of the fucking world i don't like everybody and everybody don't like me my sauce may not be the right sauce for you my words may not be the right words for you my flow may not be the right flow for you and that's all good we are all different we're all unique we all vibrate and connect with different people of like mind and like spirit and my frequency may not resonate with your vibration or your frequency at this time of your life and that is okay so just a reminder, this Saturday, March 12, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the March Community Reading. It is free for members of I Am The Altar, which is a private membership. More information on that on the website under the page of membership on the almightypineapple.com. It is free for members of I Am The Altar. It's $20 per person where you can connect with people of like mind and like spirit. You ask a question and you can see whatever universe, spirit or higher power. We pull cards. We'll maybe use a pendulum. Whatever the case is, whatever spirit tells me to do, that's what we'll do. And you can get your question answered. And it's a really good place to check me out before investing in a one-on-one -on -one session. Do not forget, on March 9th, 2022, my prices will be going up. You're not paying for the service. You're paying for my years with this service. I've been doing this work since I was 14 years old, 30 plus years. So what does that tell you? I'm in my 40s and it's okay. With that being said, that's this Saturday. It's $20 per person. Um, again, free for the members of I Am The Altar. And then next Tuesday, March 15, 2022 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be having a free webinar called Characteristics of the Clairs. I did it last year and I promised I would bring it back. So I'm bringing it back. Every day I get at least one person asking me during their one-on-one -on -one session with me, whatever it's a mentoring or reading or whatever the case is, I have a plethora of services, grateful for my abilities and grateful for the spirits that I serve and my creator for that. But I always have somebody asking me about their spiritual and psychic abilities. I cannot get to all of you, my amazing community, which I love and I respect and I honor. So I'm going to give you a free webinar once again on how to identify those characteristics of any spiritual or psychic abilities you think you may have. I will also tell you the difference on how to connect with your divine team versus connecting with other entities and spirits that are, are with other individuals other people's ancestors other people's angels so on and so forth so that re free webinar if you're not able to make it please register anyway because you'll get the recording after it's done now for the community reading on saturday no recording for the zoom platform due to privacy issues there is no recording so if you don't make it you can't you won't see what's happening so let's get to the card of the day this is from the Prism Oracle deck. Um, and let's see what Spirit has to say. That was fast. So, okay. So we have three. So it says isolation, hunger, and then peace. So we have three cards. It is what it is. Isolation is the first card. Do, 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 do. It says, being isolated can feel lonely, but it can also be tremendously healing. And when you're feeling secluded, it can be a time to learn more about yourself, to dive deep down into the parts of yourself that you can't reach when you're around others and learn the importance of some alone time. Give yourself the chance to heal and to rediscover yourself. And after you have that isolation, then it says hunger is the next card. And... 
speaking of hunger <laughs> this card is not about the bodily hunger for food but a hunger for something more a craving for something that will nourish your soul it signals a deep wanting for something to fill you mentally emotionally and spiritually ask yourself what are you hungry for and then peace and the peace card says When shining light through a prism, all the colors are, are revealed in a rainbow. White light is the combination of every color within the visible spectrum working harmoniously together. When this card is drawn, it's an invitation to bring a sense of peace into your life. This may come to you after a period of turmoil as a sign of healing, or you may find it when the mind is quieted during a simple meditation or when you are taking a moment to just stop and reflect. Open up your heart and let peace come to you. Accept this gentle offering of heal healing and stillness. So right off the bat, Spirit is saying you need to make sure you spend some time by yourself on your own without the interruption of anything else to start working through those feelings because i just keep hearing the word feelings and emotions working through these feelings maybe from things from the past maybe what's going on today or maybe your fears about tomorrow start working through it so you can heal because once you're able to heal you're able to see clearly and your vision is sacred and if your vision is sacred you know what you're hungry for you know what to do next because you're listening to your vision you're listening to that calling you're listening to that intuition you're connecting with your divine team you're connecting with your creator, your ancestors, your guardians, angels, your archangels, the ascended masters, the gods and the goddesses, the elemental realms, um, the, the animal realm, whatever it is you connect with. You're connecting with those spaces because you're hungry and now you know what to do next. And now you're going to go for it. What are you hungry for? Is it a vision? Is it an opportunity? Is it a relationship? Is it your physical health? Is it your mental health? Is it your emotional health? Is it your financial health? Is it your sexual health? What is that? What are you hungry for at this time? And then we get peace so peace is saying we receive these things now let's tap into that serenity with that wisdom with that guidance with that evolution so at the end of the day isolate yourself to start diagnosing yourself to basically start learning how to heal feel through those feelings don't run away from them boys and girls hunger to find out what you're hungry for and go after it go after it because your appetite is large and in charge and then get that peace that peace means that the healing has come to you you're going to be learning some situations through the transition of peace but you got to be able to isolate to identify the healings afterwards go after it have that hunger and then third and third and last but not least get that peace that you deserve because we all deserve a slice of peace once in a while thank you for being here thank you for fucking with me thank you for liking commenting subscribing to my channel and thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel may need it i love y'all fuckers i'll see you later